Lady Nell, would you like something to drink? That will not be necessary. How about something to eat? I brought some bread. I am not hungry. I suppose I can eat this later then. Perhaps you should get some rest. Celestia. What is it? You have, of late, been fussing over me a great deal. Why? Well, I am... Um... I was unable to protect you in a past battle. I don't want that to happen again. So I decided to stay by your side and keep you safe. The sentiment is appreciated. But our relationship is no longer hierarchical. We now aid the Divine Dragon as equals. You served me well in our world. And I consider your duty in that regard fulfilled. If that's how you feel, then I suppose I should do as I please from now on. Very good. Then I bid you farewell. <laughs> you are following me. I hope you don't mind. This is what it pleases me to do. I want to stay by your side. <sighs> Celestia. I wonder if you have considered forging some new friendships. New friendships? What do you mean? I mean, creating bonds with additional people, thereby broadening your perspective. Oh, if that's what you want, I'll do my best to follow your orders. That was not a command. For you, Lady Nell, I'll befriend hundreds of people. Whatever it takes to make you happy. You are crying. I'm so sorry. I tried to make friends, but I was unsuccessful. Tell me what happened. I'm not sure. I made an effort to try talking to many different people, but most of them ran away when they saw me coming. The rest kept talking about Zephia and the Four Hounds, things I don't fully understand. Conversations got uncomfortable, and I couldn't tell them that I wanted to be friends. Hmm. Do you think it's because I'm a mage dragon? Perhaps it's too hard for people to accept us. No. We dragons can certainly form close bonds with the little ones. The Divine Dragon demonstrates that fact time and time again, and there is no reason you cannot do the same. That's true. But then... If you are apprehensive, then perhaps I should accompany you as you make your efforts. Would you? I would greatly enjoy an outing with you. <laughs> Very well. Then it shall be so. <laughs> yes! Lady Nell, I went to town today and talked with everyone again. And forged a number of new friendships, by the sound of it. I did! <laughs> and it's all thanks to you. I merely helped to remind you of the courage you already possess. It seems you require no further assistance from me in this matter. Actually, there is still something else I was hoping you could help me with. I know this is probably out of line and too bold of me, but... Lady Nell, would you forge a friendship with me? I must decline. What? You... you don't want to be my friend? <gasps> I knew it! You hate me! Of course not. Please, do not misunderstand. <gasps> what do you mean? I apologize for my brisk tone. It is merely the way I am accustomed to speaking. I must decline to forge a new friendship with you. Because we already have an existing one. Oh, we're... already friends? That's wonderful. <laughs> you are crying. Because what you said just made me so happy. Wait, am I dreaming? I must be dreaming. You are not dreaming, Celestia. And, without a doubt, you are my dearest friend. Your dearest friend? I'm honored, Lady Nell. 
You are my best friend as well. I want to stay by your side as your best friend forever. Please, let me attend you going forward. What? Are you thirsty? Would you like something to eat, perhaps? Our dialogue appears to have come full circle. I can't imagine anything more wonderful than to be by your side as a friend, Lady Nell. If it pleases you this much, then it cannot fail to please me. I am glad beyond words for our friendship. <laughs>